Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Welcome back to another beer review. A uh, special beer today. It's a shelfie review, I think. Not in California, but Midwest, East Coast. I'm pretty sure this counts as a shelf beer, so there you go. Um, from Trogues, they are in, I want to say they're in Pennsylvania. I don't even know. Hershey, Pennsylvania. Um, this is Nimble Giant. This is there per the can once a year. 9% double IPA. It's brewed with Azaka, Mosaic, and Simcoe. Um, and this beer, a good friend of mine, Scott, was just talking about it. And I had I didn't know about this beer. Um, I don't get Trogues beer here. I've had one Trogues beer before, and it was last last year or two years ago. I had Nugget Nectar. Um, I'd actually was talking about Nugget Nectar like past when it was released, and Darwin was like, "Hey, it's still sitting on the shelves if you want to try it." So he sent me a bottle of it, and it was one of the more underwhelming beers I've ever had. But it was old, and it wasn't his fault. So um, yeah, they were. He was talking about this, and I was like, "I need to try that." Thankfully, my man Ty hooked this up, uh, sent me a four pack of this. So, um, yeah, I'm excited about this one. Not much else to say, I don't think. Um, no, yeah, it's the only other beer I've had from Trogue. So, I think this is a West Coast style beer. Um, I got this yesterday. I want to say this is, wow, I can already smell that. I want to say that this was sort of just released maybe in the last couple weeks. So, we're still pretty fresh. But, yeah, I have, uh, holy. Is that dirty glass? I just, I can't figure it out. I wash the glass and there's bubbles, whatever. I don't even care anymore. I don't even care. I'll just go like this and get them off there. Um, this beer is like a glowing, awesome, like, uh, almost like that kind of light amber color. Um, there is a fluffy, fluffy full finger of bright white head. It is straight like marshmallow. You could eat that with a spoon. Um, there's a chill haze on this. I grabbed this out of the fridge. It's 9%. Um, I try and drink, I can't believe what that smells like. I try and drink bigger ABV beers, cold. That's it, we did the same thing with the Stone and Joy By. Um, but that looks absolutely killer in that glassware. So, um, I can, like I said, I could smell this. It's just like billowing in my face. It smells great. So, let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. It's, it smells like, it's almost, this sort of reminds me of the unfiltered Enjoy By that we just drank. It's like candied pineapple, candied like grapefruit tangerine. I will say that you cannot smell the 9% booze, which is awesome. But this has like a big bready sweetness to it. So this is a very balanced nose. Very, very much hoppy, tropical fruity, but there's also that just very familiar, this reminds me of a West Coast uh, beer on the nose. Um, just that big kind of bready, that's like a sweetness. Um, it's not like booze that I'm smelling. It's, I think, like that kind of bready malty sweetness that I'm smelling. It's like, think like hard candy. Even like, what's like chalky candy that I could compare this to? Like kind of Pez candy? It almost smells like that. But holy smoke, it is, it's fruity. It's, it's, it, I think pineapple is the best way to describe that. And then there's this like rindy, bitter grapefruit thing. The nose of this is fantastic. Like I said, it hides the booze well. So let's go and taste it, Ty. Cheers, sir. Thank you. Yeah. This is West Coast at heart for me. There is a pithy bitterness that just sits on your tongue. Right on the middle of your tongue. <laughs> yeah, this, remind, this brings me back to like my West Coast. Like when I fell in love with San Diego beer for the first time. This brings me back to that. There's, it's... It is, it's like, it's crazy how candied this is. Taste falls in nose though. I wonder, I don't, I need to look more with Azaka hops. Um, but it is crazy grapefruit peel, like pithy grapefruit up front. There's some other citrus in there, but again, it's like candied pineapple. It does, it reminds me, since I said the whole Pez candy thing, it just reminds me of like chalky candy. Not in a bad way though. Um, but as soon as it's on the middle of your palate, it is straight grapefruit rind bitterness for days. And it sits there. Does it say the IBUs of this? 69 IBUs. That's kind of crazy. I, I feel like this is more bitter than that. Um, but the finish of that, you get all that candied kind of citrus, pineapple-y grapefruit peel. Um, but it also balances out with that kind of bready, malty sweet thing. This is a very, very balanced beer. And it is scary drinkable for 9%. This is very, very good. 
but again, for all you guys who are kind of new to the IPA thing and you're into like these hazy juice bombs, this is not that. This is your old school, awesome, just kind of bitter in your face West Coast double IPA. Um, it was 89 degrees today, so another warm day. This is hitting the spot, this is fantastic. I do, I like how balanced it is. There is a good amount of malt presence on the finish of that, but it just balances out all that kind of candied sweetness and all that pithy grapefruit bitterness. This is killer. Um, the mouthfeel of this is fantastic too. It's like a medium, like a medium full mouthfeel. Um, you're not chewing on it. It's not like that creamy mouthfeel, but it's plenty full. This is a very, very solid shelf beer. If I was somewhere where this beer was on the shelves, I would buy multiple four packs of this to have. It's that good. It's good, good stuff. So, um, I mean, for me, this is an A beer, like 94, 95, fantastic stuff. Yeah, I'm going 95. That is awesome. That is Nibble Giant from Trogues. If you guys are fans, leave a comment. Um, and if this is in your area, let me know. I know, I mean, obviously we don't get Trogues in California, so I don't know. I think this is like Midwest-ish, East Coast-ish. So, um, Scott, I appreciate the recommendation. And Ty, I appreciate you hooking this beer up. So, yeah, I'm out of here, guys. Like I said, if you had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.